Once the design brief is complete and the designer has a clear understanding of what is required, he or she can begin researching. One of the first steps a designer takes is to look at already existing designs that may help them create a solution for their client. These designs may have been suggested by the client themselves, or the designer may know them from past projects or research. Taking the positive aspects of items that are similar to what the client wants and adding fresh concepts or ideas from still other designs is a skill the designer requires and hones over years of practice and is essential for successful designing. Evaluating other people's products is crucial. Physically getting your hands on them, examining them and even taking them apart to gather insight into the intricacies of how they're put together can be instrumental in discovering and creating the best design for your client. Many designers spend much of their time, whether at work, at home or elsewhere, looking at things from a designer's perspective. Whether it's chairs in a cafe, a door that catches the eye, hinges, joints or other more eclectic items, most designers are always looking at things from a design perspective, constantly assessing the way in which things surrounding them are put together. Instead of being void of good ideas when asked to provide a solution for a client or trying to think one up on the spot, by constantly keeping your eyes open to design elements that surround you, you already have a whole range of solutions or ideas for solutions. In this way, the designer is constantly adding to a virtual bank of ideas and methods, staying in touch with new concepts that arise each day. This constant searching for ideas has made some professionals call designing a way of life rather than a job. Once you have gathered these ideas and concepts, the next step is implementing and developing them into your own original design.